Hello again, and welcome back to The Broken Past. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. Uh, as you can tell, we achieved a milestone today of 50 subscribers on this channel, and we've only been around for a bit over a month, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see that we've got 50 subscribers. Um, so I just want to say thank you for all of you who have subscribed, um, and for all of the videos you've watched and the comments you've made. I, I really appreciate it. I kind of made this channel sort of to see if there was interest out there, so the first couple of videos were just some tutorials, some walkthroughs, just to kind of gauge if there was if there was interest in the channel, and you guys have responded. I appreciate all the comments, all the views on the videos, the thumbs up, you know, even the thumbs down with the the, the critiques for the videos, because you know ultimately I want to make some great videos for for you guys to watch, and um, you know some that might be entertaining, some that might be informative if you're doing similar work to you know to your broken um, you know consoles and stuff too. Um, and for those of you who might have just kind of stumbled upon this video or this channel, please uh, take a look at some of the other videos and, and give it a subscribe if you're interested. I've got a lot of work planned down the road, a ton of different videos that I've sort of got in the backlog that I'm, that I'm working on, planning out, that kind of thing. So just want to say thanks again for, for subscribing, for watching the videos. I, I really appreciate it. And because of that, because of the, the 50 subscriber milestone that we hit, uh, I've got a lot of a lot of mail, a lot of packages to open for for future content for this channel. So I figured, you know, I'd go ahead and and go ahead and open those up on a video. Have a little mail day video, so you can see see what we've got coming and what sort of videos are going to be in the pipeline with this. So with that, let's go ahead and zoom out a bit and start opening up all of the mail. So first off, we have a nice little envelope here. I know what's in this guy, and I'm super excited. So these are really tiny. Um, let's see if we can focus on this. So here we have two, um, so they're Adafruit uh, Class D amplifiers, 24 decibel gain amplifiers, along with a, I'd have to double check, I believe a Game Boy Color and a Game Boy Advance speaker. So I'll have a video here in the near future with the modification to, um, to, to amplify the speakers on, on, on those guys and see how well that goes. So this should be a fun little project. Um, I've got some consoles coming up that I will be able to do this on. So stay tuned for these. It should be a, should be a fun video. I'm looking forward to these. Next up, we have a surprise package that I got from China. Now, I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm going to speculate that this is probably the replacement LCD screen for the 2DS. Um, if you remember from a few videos back, we attempted to replace an LCD screen and the screen is broken and I had to deal with the seller. And it looks like this is probably it. This came in a little bit sooner than I thought. So it could be something else, but we'll open this guy up and see. Yep. And that is exactly what it is. A nice 2DS screen. So I have no need for a 2DS screen right now because I bought the other one because I wanted to make the video, but we have this. I will probably pick up a broken 2DS on eBay if I can and um, see what we can do with that. So next up, this isn't really a broken piece of equipment, but this is something that I thought might be interesting for the channel. This is called a flip grip. This is actually one of the few Kickstarters that I've actually done. Uh, it arrived in the mail, actually came in the mail, um, gosh, a little over three months ago, almost four months ago. So, haven't opened it yet. I haven't actually gotten around, haven't had time to get around to playing with it, but I will open this up now. And let's take a look at what we have here. Now 
this thing is going to be pretty cool. So we'll go through the details of it at a different time. But this allows you to connect your Joy-Cons to the side and the Switch will fit vertically in here. There are some games right now that support vertical play. And so this will allow you to do that without the awkwardness of trying to play you know, on the table or with a weird kickstand of sorts. So we'll have a review video on the flip grip here sometime in the near future as well. So stay tuned for that. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to include the video on this, but I figured since it came in the mail as well, along with everything else, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this one too. And here we have a four terabyte portable Western digital hard drive. Uh, again, not, not game related, not broken console related, but um, I've made enough videos and I've created enough content recently that I needed a better backup system in place. So that's what this is for. And I'm super excited about this one. Just bought this on eBay a couple days ago. Uh, seller shipped this to me extremely fast. I'm really impressed on how fast they shipped it. And I'm also not sure how this thing gets open. Okay, that was a chore cutting into that one. They packaged that really well. So let's see what we have. And we have a bunch of goodies in this in this order here. So we have a couple, somewhat grimy, but we can clean those, uh, Game Boy cartridge cases, a uh, amplifier for the Game Boy Advance SP, which doesn't seem in too bad a condition. A somewhat gross but weighted down uh, SP a handhold, I guess. But these, I don't really care about those. The main attraction in this purchase was this guy. <laughs> a, I don't believe this is a 101. I believe this is a uh, original 001 console. But a Game Boy Advance SP. Um, was was originally red now is red and slightly gold as well as gold on the inside yeah and that screen looks like a 001 let's uh, let's turn it on no, it's already on which means the battery is definitely dead let me get let me get my charger we'll plug this in and see if it boots up all right, I got the charger plugged in and ready to go. So the seller said that he thought this worked, but he didn't have a charger to turn it on and test it. So I uh, kind of bought it sight unseen, but looks like we have a charging light. Let's see if it, and of course I left it on. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, got something. There it is. Let's see if we have sound. Back off. We do. Great. Perfect. So, as you can tell, this thing is pretty gunky looking. Um, no labels, super scratched up on the bottom, and a large amount of really bad gold paint on it, but that's okay. I bought this guy specifically for doing a case swap. So I will have a case swap video coming out in the near future. Um, I have my own SP, which I've, I've shown a couple times in some other videos, but 
I wanted one that I could do a case swap on and then I could use it to test a lot of stuff with and kind of beat up a little bit if I need to. So I will have one of those videos coming out soon as well. And last, but definitely not least, we have this guy. This is the one that I'm the most excited about. If we can see on here, it's upside down, but this is from Japan. And for those of you who buy a lot of stuff off of eBay from Japan, you'll have an idea of what this is. So there's a lot of goodies packed in this box. Um, I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll just cut through the tape on the bottom side here and let's see what's in here. First things first, lots of packing peanuts. Let's start with this stack here. You might be able to get a glimpse of what's in there. And not sponsored, but yep, from Japan for you. So first things first, we have a Game Boy Color. Um, I don't remember the condition these are all supposed to be in. And I don't have, I don't think I have any AA batteries down here. Actually, you know what? Let me pause it. I do have some AA batteries real quick. Okay. So I went and grabbed a quick couple AA batteries. And let's give this guy a test. And nothing. Which is okay. I believe all the stuff was sold as oh. Hey, there it goes. Okay, so no speaker. That's okay. So, awesome. This is gonna be a pretty easy clean and refurb, I think, with that process. So, just keep an eye out for, for a follow-up video on this guy. And we also have ourselves a Game Boy Pocket, which as you can tell, has a highly, um, I don't know what that is, a burned polarizer, I guess, on the front. Usually this is a pretty easy fix. Um, there's some gunk on the screen and might be able to get rid of that. Otherwise I'll buy a new screen and a polarizer and we'll refurbish this guy as well. And why buy one Game Boy Advance when you can buy three? So, and this is, this is the type of seller. I love the fact he packages this stuff really well. So this stuff's usually all fairly beat up, but he still wrapped up all the screens so they wouldn't get scratched on each other. So that's, that's awesome. But yeah, three Game Boy Advances. I don't remember the condition on any of these, but I figured I'll probably end up doing a shell swap on one, maybe a screen, an AGS 101 screen swap. I don't know, we'll see what we ultimately decide on these, but. Oh, they seem to be in pretty good condition, so that's awesome as well. And what do we have left? Yes. So I'll just move some more stuff out of the way here. This is an old, uh, old Famicom game. Um, I don't have a Famicom, but um, it's Dragon Ball Z, and it was cheap, and I was buying an order from him already, so I picked one of these up. Probably won't do a video on this, but. You know, it's cool, I guess. So, yeah, I also went ahead and picked up a couple Game Boy Advance Pokemon games as well. I don't think anything's wrong with these. Um, again, I just picked them up because they were just picked them up because they were cheap to ship them along with the same order. So, a couple of those. Also picked up Heart Gold and Soul Silver as well. You know what? Since I've got the Game Boy Color here, let's uh, let's just pop one of these in. Let's try it out.
Okay, so that one's corrupted. Let's see if the terminals need some cleaning. It's hard to tell. Okay, that one's got some issues. You might be able to hear a little bit of static too. It sounds like that speaker might be shorting out in there. So that might be an easy fix. And this one, this one works. And there it is. Cool, awesome. And finally, this is, this is probably my most exciting part out of the entire order. I picked up a, a red PSP uh, 3000. It, didn't, it just said it didn't work, uh, but the pictures that showed us, it seemed like it was in pretty good condition. So I picked it up. I used to have an original uh, first gen PSP, uh, sold it because I didn't play it a whole lot, but now with um, a lot of the new uh, emulation scenes and stuff like that, I think this would be a fun, a fun project to pick up. So I picked that up along with a stack of games as well as a couple movies in here to to play around with and I went ahead and I did play in a little bit and I did pick up a battery so I knew this wasn't going to ship with the battery so let's just just pop the battery in here and just see what it does and slide that guy in there and I don't know if this has a charge on it or not too so this might might not go but just hold it in there Nope. Okay. So, definitely has some issues. I know a lot of them had broken screens and missing parts. But this one looked to be in pretty good condition, but of course, the battery is either completely dead or um, <laughs> or there's something else wrong with it. Actually, I do also have a charger that I do believe will work with this. All right, let's see if it charges. I don't even know if we have a charging light or not with this. Oh, we got a charging light. Does it turn on? Oh, there it goes. Wow, nothing wrong with this one. At least what we can tell. Up, down, left, right. I don't know if the circle pad works for this, so we'll just go through it. I actually don't know how to tell if the circle pad works. So we might have to test that later. Let's throw a game in. Does it just slide in like so? It's spinning, I hear it. There it is. Not sure if this is always this slow to load, but it sounds a little scary. It might need a little bit of cleaning, but it does look like it's loading. Nope, that might, <laughs> or maybe not. Or it might be complaining. I obviously I can't read Japanese. It might be complaining that there's no memory card in here, but it kind of appears like it's working. So that's that's uh, that's excellent news. Perfect. Well, that is that is exciting. So, definitely does sound like it could use a little cleaning. There's definitely a lot of scratching sound going on with that, but great. So, yeah, we, oops. We have a lot of stuff in this order. A lot of stuff in opening today. PSP, let's see if we can maybe move the camera down here a little bit and see if we can squeeze it all in. So we've got 
three Game Boy Advances, a pocket, color, an SP, a PSP, and a flip grip, and some amplifiers and speakers for some aftermarket modding, as well as a few games and some extra accessories. So, yeah, oh, and a couple of these extra games here too. <laughs> so, quite a bit of stuff, uh, quite a bit of content coming out in the near future on a lot of these. So, if you're interested in reshelling some of these consoles, especially reshelling the PSP or the, the Advanced SP, uh, maybe some AGS 101 screen mods, the PSP refurb, the fixing of the polarizer on the bucket, or anything else for that matter. Stay tuned. Um, if, you, if you have any preferences, if there's something you want to see first, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you're interested in any of this stuff down the road, uh, please feel free to give me a subscribe. Uh, you'll get a notification when we put out a new video and see all the cool stuff that we have in store coming up. So. So thank you so much again for 50 subs in the first month. It's great. I love seeing that, that you guys like it, and I'm super excited for all the content to come. So thanks again, and have a great day. Bye-bye.